Okay. I'm going to read chapter one of Zane Afterburn. I was lying in my bed, dreaming about Prince laying me down on his basement bed, like he did Apollonia in Purple Rain. I'd fallen asleep staring at the post of him I had taped to my bedroom ceiling, a nightly routine for me. It was the one where he was laying on his stomach with his ass cheeks exposed enough to tease the million of teenage girls who idolized him like me. Rain, wake up, wake up, damn it. Mama's high pitch, irritating voice pierced into my blissful sleep. I will both it and her to go away. Lost calls. Mama shook my shoulder and yanked me halfway off my twin size canopy bed. Rain, you know you hear me. Sit up, missy. Time for a talk. Trying to sleep was out of the question, so I propped my back up on a pillow. Mama, it's the middle of the night. Can't this wait? No, it can't wait. Her breath almost knocked me out when she plopped down beside me, landing her hip on one of my kidneys. I moved over slightly. She was drunk again. No huge surprise. Mama spent at least five nights a week at the Eagle, a cruddy bar less than a mile from our apartment. Baby, I should have done this a long time ago. So listen up. Done what, Mama? Various scenarios raced through my head. Then I remembered my less than stellar grades. Is this about my progress report? I'm going to pull that D up in the math, I promise. Mama let out this hideous laugh. That ain't it. About no damn school, fuck school. Hmm. I wonder how many members of the PTA would want to jump on Mama's back for telling her child to fuck school. She was exactly June Cleaver, but she could have at least been supportive of my education. I was really trying hard in school and was having issues with a couple of classes mainly because my staying up half the weeknights waiting for her to come home. I'd hear all these creepy noises in and around our apartment, and we didn't exactly live in the safest area of Birmingham. I realized Mama was doing the best she could considering my father, who she refused to name if she ever even knew his name, had never been a part of our lives. Mama worked as a waitress at this dump, where they couldn't even give me free food to eat. She used to try to get me to come by there after school to eat at her employee's discount rate, but after a couple of times of struggling to chew their meatloaf and ending up on a toilet for three hours, I decided my digestive system was more important than saving money. On the flip side, I gained a lot of weight from eating fast food. I tried to tell myself that I could lose it at any given time, After all, I was young, and that had to count for something. I wasn't obese, so I simply let it flow and ignored a few assholes at school who made comments. I tell them God didn't intend for everybody, everyone to be bags of bones. (laughs) Mama slapped me on the leg, and the painful shot, the pain shot up my spine. The room was flooded with unwelcome bursts of light after she reached for a ceramic lamp on my nightstand. I want to talk to you about fast ass boys. Mama, why are you yelling? I'm right here. Once my eyes adjusted to the light, I noticed her mascara and lipstick lipstick was smudged. She was so beautiful, beautiful, even in disarray. She had the, had the smoothest caramel skin and men lost their minds over her gray eyes, the ones I've shared with her. What about boys, I asked. I'm not even dating. She pulled the bottom of my nightgown down further over my legs like there was a bunch of perverted old men standing around my room or something. That Henry boy, she said in disgust. I notice he keeps coming around here sniffing your drawers. This is crazy, mama. I started to in protest. Henry Wilkes was a ug mug, which made him twice as jacked up in the face than ugly. Chance Martinez, my best friend, and I had made up the word to describe him. 
he was still my friend because you have to take friends where you can get them. And most of the boys in the school were so stuck on themselves that they made me sick. The majority of the girls was too busy sizing each other up in competition to be friendly. Mama, Henry and I are friends. I don't like him. He's not attractive at all. Forget being pr attractive. Does he have any money? She was tripping. Did she not realize that no one at my school had money? If they did, they sure as hell wouldn't be playing house in our neighborhood. We didn't have two nickels to rub together. If, and it was, a, it was my guess that Henry and his family didn't have two pennies to rub together. She stared at me like she was awaiting a response. One that shouldn't should have been obvious. So I replied, don't think so. Why? Her voice went up three decibels as she catapulted off the bed and threw her hands on her hip. Because if he ain't got no money, he needs to keep his little ass from around here. Henry's my partner for science project. That's why he's been coming around lately. I figured that was the end of the conversation, so I lay back down. Mama pinched me on the shoulder, and I streaked out in pain. Ow, Mama, why'd you do that? Sit up and listen to me, damn it. I've been whoring all my life, and I'm a good whore. You better learn how to be a good whore, too. Mama was about to give up too much information, so I tried to ward her off. Mama, please go to bed. You're drunk. I ain't drunk. We both realized she was lying. <laughs> I know what the hell I'm saying. Don't ever fall in love, Rain. Not ever. Bastards will chew you up like a wad of tobacco. Believe that. I didn't feel like hearing her mouth, but at least she finally lowered her voice some. Men care about two things, money and pussy, in that order. You need to concentrate on the money and intake dick for financial purposes only. I suppressed a laugh. If she's been following <laughs> if she's been following that philosophy, we would have been living large. She was tripping hard. I couldn't imagine how many drinks she must have had. The bartender at the Eagle must have made some serious strong drinks that night. It wasn't a secret that Mama loved spending time with men. Quite often I wake up and find strange men scrambling eggs in the kitchen, the main staple we kept in our house, in the buff or close to it. Even so, even so, the whoring comment had thrown me for a loop. She never, she never come straight out and used the word pussy in front of me before either. That's not true, Mama, about men caring about two things. Some men care about more than that. She grabbed both sides of my face and stared me in the eyes. The hell they do. Loving a man will destroy you. He'll destroy you. He'll take your self-esteem. He'll take your dignity dignity then he'll walk away and leave you with a stack of bills bad credit and possibly one or two babies <laughs> i wonder if she was talking about my nameless father men are selfish and aren't capable of loving anyone but themselves i've seen plenty of men in love men that treat women with respect i told her i glanced at my alarm clock 5 a.m why couldn't she shouldn't simply go to bed mama rolled her eyes at me where where have you ever seen men in love? On cable? At the movies? Fantasy land, perhaps? That shit ain't real. Name one fool, just one. You actually know who's in love. Normally, I hate being put on the spot, but I had to answer for that one right away. Chance had been my best friend since first grade. If there was one thing I absolutely certain of, her parents were madly in love. Chance was the third of six children and very experienced in their home was like a Latino version of the Cosby show. Even though they were far cry from rich, more like barely making ends meet, everyone was always happy, smiling, and content, especially the parents. Yes, they were definitely in love. I was sure of it. Manuel Martinez, Chance Daddy, he adores his wife, I stated vividly. They're incredibly cute together. <laughs> Mama laughed so hard, I thought she was going to choke on her own tongue. What's so funny, Mama? Rain, I hate to burst your bubble, but please, 
Manual ass ain't in love. He hanging in there because of all the damn babies that heifer keep dropping. Dropping. I fucked Manuel a dozen times. I almost choked on my tongue at that point. Point. You had sex with Chan's daddy? Shit. Everybody. Everyone has sex with Chan's daddy. I sat up higher on the bed like who? Never mind all that. Let's just say that Manuel has stuck more money in panties and seen more sluts working the pole than any man in Birmingham. Working the pole? Yes, the pole. I looked at her in confusion. Shit, I'm glad you don't know what I mean because your ass better not end up working that working the pole at some sleazy strip club. Ah, I whispered getting her point. Listen to me, Rain. Men ain't no damn good. I laid back down. You said that already. It couldn't be true. Mr. Martina was always so lovey-dovey. If a man like him would not only cheat, but frequent strip clubs, what kind of man wouldn't? No, I wasn't buying it. I had to defend such a honorable man. Honorable man. Mama had to be mistaken, delusional or something. I don't believe you had sex with him, Mama. Are you calling me a liar? Mama Gray eyes turned almost jet black like they always did when she was angry. Are you calling me a liar, Rain? I wasn't about to back down from her, even though her body language was giving off indications that she could, <laughs> that she'd haul off and slap me if I responded yes. Instead, I said, you're mistaken or confused. Maybe you have him mixed up with someone else. Her knees started wobbling and she sat back down on the bed. If she hadn't, she surely would have fallen at any second. Okay, Missy, I'll put it this way. If I ain't never let him have the coochie, how do I know he has a tattoo of an anchor on his ass? An anchor? This was simply too much for me. Yeah, Manuel used to be a seller. That's probably why he's so damn freaky now. Military men are the nasty of all. She emphasized the last portion of her statement, and the liquor on her breath was so strong I almost passed out. I've heard enough, Mama. I can't take any more of this. I stated sternly and covered my head with my comforter before she could start breathing on me again. Can I please go to sleep? I'm going to Six Flags tomorrow in Atlanta, remember? With who? Mama asked once again. She forgotten something. I've told her less than 24 hours earlier chance manual going or is he staying here so he can fuck some stripper tomorrow night i sucked in air and ignored that no ruez is driving us chance older brother ruez ruez was one of the finest men on the planet i fallen in puppy love lust with him when chance and i were in sixth grade and he was in the tenth i was nothing more than a babysitter to him but that didn't change the fact that i wanted to be his girlfriend Tell Ruiz he can't have none either. <laughs> uh, Ruiz can have anything from me, I thought, as a sly grin came across my face. Nonetheless, he's given up some cash, and I know his ass is broke, she continued with her bashing. Broke daddy, broke son. <laughs> See, an opportunity to catch mama in a lie, I inquired. If Martinez is so broke... Why do you have sex with him? What about your intake and dick for a financial purpose policy? I should have kept my mouth shut because I wasn't prepared for her answer. Because Manuel... Because <laughs> Manuel eat a mean pussy, that's why. I've had a lot of sweet pussy licking in my day, but damn. Manuel can make a woman want to. I let out a light scream, making her pause mid-sentence and clapping my eyes shut, willing Mama to get up and go into her own bedroom. Baby, I'm going to let you go back to sleep. She pulled my comforter down to my waist and started rubbing my back gently. <laughs> Even she realized that she's gone too far. If I don't see you have fun at Six Flags, I might still be in bed when you leave. I kept my eyes shut, trying to mask my angers. Good night, mama. You need some money. I got a little something hidden under my mattress, some tip money. <laughs> she 
She must have really felt guilty about her admittance. What of an affair with my best friend's father? I always had to beg for money. She never offered it. No thanks, Mama, I responded. I recently started a job at a bookstore working part-time until school let out in a couple of weeks for summer. For the summer. And I could work full time. I've saved up for six flags and for six flags and was looking forward to having a good time and looking forward to peeping Ruez muscles all day. I was hoping he'd wear a tank top and shorts so I could see some skin. I picked out the perfect outfit for what? Outfit to wear one that was teasingly revealing but not too obvious. Sorry I woke your rain, she said. Continue to rub my back. This talk about birds and the bees is long overdue. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. I appreciate it. You know, nothing could have been further from the truth, but I didn't want to want her to feel too bad. She was still my mother. The only relative I've ever known since grandparents died long before I was born. However, Mama could teach me couldn't teach me anything about sex that I didn't already know. Ooh, really? Sure, she may have been able to embark on perversions, uh, but I wasn't interested in those kinds of acts. I hadn't gone all the way, mainly because Ruiz had never tried me, but I knew what to expect when he did. I had zero intentions of becoming a whore and definitely not a proud whore like, my, like mama. She seemed to read my mind. Are you having sex, Rain? No, Mama, not yet. I threw in a not yet in there intentionally. I wanted to put her on notice that I wouldn't hesitate to do it when I was ready. I don't. I didn't think you were. But I needed to know. When you do start, I got to get you on the pill. I ain't, I ain't even trying to be a grandma. I'm too sexy and way too fine for all that. <laughs> I giggle. You don't have to worry about that. Baby, I'm too tired to crawl in my room. Can I crash in here? Sure, Mama. I quickly answer. If I took, if it took a lot on her to sleep with me, lick a breath and all to get her to shut up, shut her trap, it was well worth it. I scooted over farther on the bed, pressing myself up against the wall as she slipped off her three inch pumps and climbed underneath the comforter with me. We both stared up at Prince, sexy motherfucker. <laughs> you know mama loves you, baby. Yes. Good, that's real good. She started humming Sexual Healing by Marvin Gaye, her favorite song until we both drifted off to sleep as the sun was coming up. By 10, I was on the highway with Chance and Ruiz headed to Six Flags. End of chapter one.